Hi everybody, it's Blitzgirl, and I'm going to try and do a drawing. I've done a couple of skips through the queue so far, and I haven't really liked any of the captions I've seen, so hopefully I can find a good one. Oh, bunny. I just did a bunny. Mm. No, that's one I skipped earlier. Not doing captions. Not doing captions. Um, this might be good. I haven't drawn Eliza Thornberry in a long time. I used to watch that show when it was on Nickelodeon. I really liked it because it was by, I, I think it was by the same people that did Rocket Power. And I liked that one first. I think that came first chronologically. But I like that she talked to animals. Oh dear. Okay, let's look at this for. Oh, is it? No. Not a GIF. I know some people say GIF, I say GIF. Nope, I just want regular Eliza. on now. I know it's from the olden days when you don't have as many good references of the character. Is this, is this a GIF? I hope not. I hope not. Okay. We'll just go with this. And going to see if my pen works. There we go. I'm going to click with background. This is going to be angry and bored Eliza at the same time. And I just want the reference for the expression really. So I didn't want any of the smiley happy Eliza's going on. Some brown? No. Purple. Purple. I want some purple. And more gray on top of that. Bigger gray. Bigger gray. And a little bit more black. So this is just going to be about a minute long background here. I don't have to worry about it very much. Okay, come on you. Lots of scribbles everywhere. Scribble! Okay, that was maybe too much scribbling. But, here we go. So, we're gonna have Eliza here, and she's not very happy. She's kind of a, I don't know, pear-shaped head? Peanut. Peanut-shaped head. Peanut is the word I was looking for. It's a food that begins with the letter P. Also included in that group, prunes, potatoes. That might be a potato-shaped head. Pizza. Pizza-shaped head would be funny. Pasta. We got peas, of course. Parsley. Pickles. Pickle shaped head. I don't know, I'm running out of foods that begin with the letter P that I can do while I'm still simultaneously trying to draw this picture. little bit. Down at the bottom we have her mouth. It's like, why is your mouth on your chin? 
Seems that problematic. I imagine it would be. But, you know. Eliza was always the geeky, geeky girl because she had braces. Which is kind of neat. You don't really see main characters of animated series with braces very much. I mean, you see these supporting characters sometimes, but not as much the animated uh, main characters. And I cannot remember the last time I've seen a main character live action with braces on either. Of course, I don't really watch much children's television this, these days, so it's quite possible there are some out there I just don't know about. Okay, get the hair going down like here. Four and a half minutes left. Oh, my proportions are off, but that's okay. Some purple going there. She is not very pleased. I think I've been influenced a little too much by watching John Y and Desolation videos. Seriously. It's like, oh, I made this dark and creepy Eliza. Okay. And we have glasses. Oh, nope. Oh, circles. Why the circles? Why? Oh, gosh. Good enough. And then she has, like, freckles up here. Down there. There. It's the thing about the thornberries and the rocket powers, they always have a lot of texture and like the hair that you don't always see. Oh boy, three minutes. Wrap these up. Now she's imagining Oh no, do I need the Nigel Thornberry reference or can I wing that? Okay, let's see. So we're going to have a drawception panel here. Okay, I need to look for Nigel Thornberry. Just to have a peek at that. Images. Okay, just because he has a weird shaped face too is kind of a, he is more of a potato shaped face. Oh dear. And we're gonna have tiger. Rawr. Supposed to be a tiger attack, but I don't have that much time left, so it'll just be very rough. And I need to put Batman in here while I'm doing a tiger. There he is. Okay, so we're not gonna. Oh dear. Neck. Oh no, what color was that? Was it gray? Yeah, <laughs> so I hate it when I do that. Okay, 
especially when I'm running out of time. And so now we need face, face up, get the ear going, need the red hair. Nose, mustache, and the big nose, and the little chin. Okay, that's good enough. Hmm. I don't know how much that looks like Nigel Bullenberry, unfortunately. But you have Eliza Thornberry in there, and so she, she'll probably make it through. Let's see how far this is. No, it's a four. Good. We don't want that to be a two. Hmm. Oh, I, I like the Eliza part. That was fun. This part, not so much. That's okay. And thank you for watching this drawing video. I'll see you later.